Brighton a few months ago when there's another demonstration like this and 2,000 people turned up. And I just want to say this, that demonstration led to, I think, a mobilization of people around this issue that ensured we defeated the Tories again in this town and we'll make sure we always do. And the reason people turned out in their numbers because they've all had the same life experiences as us. Members of our family have been treated and treated well by the NHS. Lisa Murphy, my friend, is here. Her son, Seamus, whose life was saved by the NHS. And we know what their plans are, don't we? We know it isn't just about cuts. They want to sell the NHS off to their friends in the corporations that will then make profits, sweat the assets, underpay the staff, and neglect the patients. That's what privatisation is always about. So let me tell you very straightforwardly, in our manifesto, it was written by you in the conversations and the discussions that we had at every demonstration, every meeting. You said two things. One, end all the cuts in the NHS and properly fund it. And that's what we're going to do when we go back. said if we don't get a Labour government soon, this NHS of ours that we love so much will be privatised. So we say quite clearly, Never. we will end all the plans the Tories have to privatisation and those that they've privatised will bring it back. We'll bring it back into public ownership and democratic control. But there's a third issue. There's a third issue as well. We cannot have an NHS where we have our staff, nurses, ancillary workers and others, having to depend in the fifth richest country in the world on food banks to get by. I don't know what you call that, but I call that a bloody disgrace, don't you? So we will ensure that we work alongside you, we campaign until the pay cap is scrapped, not just for some, but for all. And it isn't just that we'll be with you in Parliament. Whether it's in Parliament or on the picket line, we will be with you in solidarity. Because we have to ensure that our workers are properly paid and respected. I want to introduce someone to you, someone who's my parliamentary private secretary, who was elected and won the seat for Lincoln in this last election. It's a woman called Karen Lee. She's a nurse. She's now an MP. Over the last few weeks, she's going back into working as a nurse as well to make sure she covers the shifts that she was committed to.